Okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, and start now. I hope uh, everybody's had a chance to enter the room. There's a little bit of a of a delay here on Webinar Jam, so um, I want to welcome all you, my brothers and sisters, and thank you for coming today. I know a lot of you are going to watch on YouTube um, later on um, as as you get the time when you can watch the recording. It'll be available on YouTube. So um, Namaste. And I welcome you to uh, live the enlightened lifestyle with uh, myself, Ron Steele. Today is July 9th, 2017. It's 12 o'clock Central Time. And um, what we're going to be doing for the next several months, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. It might take, might take a, a year or, or more, but um, I'm going to go through with you guys and read my book. This is my personal copy of the knowledge book. Um, it's a very special book and um, it's, it's, um, it's kind of expensive and really the book only comes to you when you're ready. Um, so those of you that have come to the webinar today and that maybe you're listening later, uh, watching later on YouTube, this is something that you were meant to be at. And if not, then you'll probably get bored and, and leave after a while. But uh, the knowledge book is something pretty special. And um, I'll tell you a little bit about what I know about it so far. Um, I haven't had a chance to read very much of it at all. Um, I, it just came to me in the last month and um, I found it and I realized how, how big of a deal it is and how much it goes with along with my enlightenment and things I've been sharing with you guys for um, almost two years now. Um, so I felt compelled to share this information um, while I read it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be on Webinar Jam here um, every either every other Saturday or every other Sunday or every other Monday. Um, those are my three days that that I take a little time off of work um, to, to do things like this. And uh, I apologize. I haven't seen you guys. You know, you probably haven't seen me in a couple of months because I've been really busy um, with some things at work. So um, I finally got some time off today that I decided that I'm going to start reading the knowledge book today. And while I'm reading it, I'm just going to uh, share it with you guys live on a webinar. Um, so some of the information you probably be familiar with, some you won't, some that some you'll understand, some you won't. Just go with it. Just understand what you can understand. And the rest that you don't understand, um, it, it doesn't matter. It'll come to you when it's needed. And uh, I know myself, I'm going to have to read the book three or four times. Um, but my first time, I'm going to read it here with you guys. So uh, just to tell you a little bit about those of you that don't know about myself and live the enlightened lifestyle, um, it's really a couple of years ago I thought about you know enlightenment and and how we can we all really need to become one um, and we're really no different there's one race there's a human race and that's it uh, here on earth and um, um, they've created a lot of things the negative entities in the world for thousands or hundreds of years at least they've created a lot of things to separate us we need to get back together to be one um, Several things, politics, uh, religion, race, sex, it all separates us and we need to let go of the, those old things that don't work um, in this day and time anymore, the golden age. So, so I created something called Live the Enlightened Lifestyle and you can find that on my Facebook page. Uh, it's called Live the Enlightened Lifestyle and it uh, I also have a Facebook event page for these webinars. Uh, it's worldwide webinars, and they're uh, always free. Um, I do have a PayPal link, which I'll put up here. Um, I accept donations. Um, I don't really ask for them. I just, you know, if, if you guys feel like donating, and it, it helps me out 
um, with a lot of things I do online and, and for enlightenment that do cost me money. So there, I put the link up. We'll, we'll just leave that up. Um, and um, I also have a group called Live the Enlightened Lifestyle. So I've got a Facebook page, a Facebook group, Facebook event. Um, and then I have a YouTube channel called Live the Enlightened Lifestyle. So um, I believe that it's about a lifestyle. That's why that word is in there. Um, you have to change the way you think because we've been manipulated to think a certain way all of our life and then the parents before us and the, our grandparents before them. Um, so it's really ingrained and bred in us um, to think more negatively than positive, to think in ways of separation instead of we are one. Um, it, it's, you know, you have to realize that everything in the universe is energy and we are souls living a human experience, not the other way around. So the soul is always alive. We never die. Um, and, um, you know, they, they've made death a certain thing on uh, as human um, here on Earth, but um, it doesn't really exist. So. With that said. Um, I'm going to be reading the, the knowledge book and. Um, like I said, every Friday, Saturday, or no, every Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. It, it just depends what days I'm available off work to, to spend about sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes 45 minutes to an hour to an hour and a half. Um, so anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours is, is my usual webinar for you guys. Um, just depends what there is to talk about and, and what kind of, uh, um, you know, intuition is, is coming through me for you guys um, and how much of the book, you know, needs to be read that day. Um, there'll be times when I might have to skip. Uh, I know I'm doing it every other week, but there's sometimes I might, I might only be able to do it once a month. Um, so I will keep you guys notified. It won't be much of a surprise. I'll just please join my YouTube channel, join my Facebook uh, event page. Um, and I'll put some of that up a, a little bit later. Um, most of you know where, where that's at, but it's live the enlightened lifestyle. You can find us all over Facebook and YouTube. Okay. So the book I'm reading today, it's, again, it's called the, the knowledge book and, um, it's messages received and transformed into writing by Vidya or Vedia. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but I'm going to use I'm going to pronounce it in English. She is a Turkish woman born in, um, I believe, 1923. And it's uh, Vedia Bulliant Korak. That's the best I can pronounce her name. And um, it took her 12 years to put this book together. And for those of you who understand receiving guidance and intuition from the energies above, our archangels and ascended masters, um, some of us connect with them much better than others, and some connect with them brilliantly. And and that, I believe, is is what this woman Vedia had done. Um, she had she had done in um, 1981. She started. Uh, well, that this information, the knowledge book that she got from her archangels and, and ascended masters um, above. A lot of it was supposed to be out in 1981, but for some reason they they felt I don't know the whole story on that yet, but I, they felt like they had to wait till 1984 because it the Earth just wasn't ready for it. The people of Earth just 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 wasn't ready. And now here it is, you know, 2017, and some of us are finally finding this book um, that's been out since 1984. So uh, it took her 12 years to write it. So I'm not sure yet. We'll go through the book and see if she started receiving the information in 1984 and then it took 12 years and they held off from 81 to 84. Um, we'll figure a lot of things out together while I'm reading the book. So let me start off by reading something in the beginning. This isn't even the start of the book. It's just 
uh, I'll read this this first page before well, there's one, two, three. There's four pages to read before I even start with page one of the book. So here we go. It is noticed from the totality of reality. All the missionary staffs who have given combinants for the dissemination program of the system have been embodied, especially in different parts of the world, in this final age. However, besides this, on your planet, there are also thousands of beings who work in different ways in the direction of their own channel and positions. For this reason, the knowledge book has been taken into effect as the single channel, the single path, the single order, single truth, and this chaos of consciousness has been tried to be prevented as much as possible. Now, remember, this, this book has been translated into English, um, so it's you're not always going to hear perfect English, okay? So um, take that to, into consideration to avoid a, a little bit of confusion here. Um, this book was originally written in Turkish. So in the translation of the knowledge book that has been bestowed on your planet as a heralder of the golden age and of the world totality of the morrows into different languages at this moment and in the future years, it will be especially disclosed that the source from which the book is revealed is the reality of the unified humanity and the cosmos unification totality and that it has been taken into effect from channel of alpha by the name of the knowledge book in the world year of 1981 in Anatolian Turkey. And it will be placed as a preface in the books to be translated that the name of the universal focal point established by the reality for the first time in the world plan is world brotherhood union universal unification center and that its center is in istanbul turkey in the translations to be made the book revealed in turkish will always be taken into effect as an example and private or different knowledge will never be added to the book during translation any alterations in the original emblem is also out of the question in any way it is presented for your knowledge. Okay, next page here. Forward, uh, the integration of all our world planet by becoming unified on the, on the path of humanity has been taken in hand by our universal friends. Celestial assistance is being granted to our planet on this path. During this, during this transition cycle, which is called resurrection, Universal attainments made by means of cosmic influences cause our planet to make a progress together with the medium it belongs to. The events experienced are causing all the social consciousness to awaken as a mass. Our sacred books that were revealed to us until today in accordance with social views have prepared the humans of the world for totality in the direction of their own beliefs. This book conveyed to you at the moment has been given to us by our universal friends under the name of the knowledge book. The source through which it has been revealed is Alpha, that is the direct channel of the Lord. It has been dictated from the sacred focal point from which all the books of religion were revealed. Don't dump, jump to conclusions too quickly yet. Let me keep reading and some things will come to light. However, the period of religions has come to an end long ago. Religions separate us. Now our celestial friends are abolishing idolatry by telling us all the truth. So idol, idol, idol tree. Um, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, they, they don't, we shouldn't idol anybody and they don't want us to worship them. And you'll hear the word worship later in the book and it can, it'll confuse you a little bit of, of what I just said. But um, any archangel, ascended master, 
you know, God type, uh, our creator, they are way above and beyond being worshipped and idled. Um, just, just think about if, if you reach that level of perfection um, in that higher dimension, if you were that high of a dimensional human being, uh, I'm sorry, that high of a dimensional being, not human being, um, you would you would never expect or want someone to idol you. You would know that that's wrong. And worshiping someone, any god, any person, any entity, um, worshiping and idling, idolizing someone uh, or an entity is, is absolutely wrong. It's it makes no sense. So that's that's the part about church that just doesn't make sense. Um, so so again, however, the period of religions has come to an end long ago. Now our celestial friends are abolishing idolatry by telling us all the truths. The goal of dictating this book is to gather the entire universe and our planet in a consciousness of human totality. We are all one. Um, the periods of prophethood have come to an end. From now on, our planet will be enlightened on the path of science and learning. On our planet, the golden age is being established together with the entire universe consciousness in a splendid way. The cosmic consciousness, <clears throat> the cosmic consciousness attained on this path will become stronger in time making us attain a brand new personality and we will find the genuine human within us. We are walking on this path, believing from the heart that all those efforts rendered for a flowery world without wars will prepare beautiful morrows for our planet. The plan of attaining universal totality in this final age is a program that has been prepared centuries ago. This program is called the program of the golden age. However, it has been waited for the humane consciousness to reach a certain level of consciousness for this program to be able to be applied to our planet. So that's where I was telling you earlier that, you know, they were ready to come out with this and, and um, feed this information to, to this woman in 1981. And, um, they waited even longer till till the right timeline, which was in 1984. Um, the time has come for all the truths to be told to humanity that has gained a light of consciousness from micro to macro, walking on the paths of reincarnation. Humanity that will gather on the single world platform to be established in the future will unify under the roof of a world state. For this reason, humanity that has reached a certain level of consciousness is projecting a program taken into effect directly by the reality of unified humanity to all of the universe totalities, including our planet. The name of this universal program in, in the totality is the Mevlana Supreme Plan. Mevlana Supreme Plan. And according to this program, one day all humanity will be united under the same roof. Under this roof of humanity, all our brothers and sisters. The Allah of this brother-sister totality is the same. Their essence is the same. Henceforth, their religions will not be different. Either since religious dimensions have been closed long ago in the universal totality. Sorry for some of my uh, uh, reading. Um, it's my first time reading this book. I've only skimmed through it. So uh, and it's and it's, you know, it's translated. So, however, during this dimension of transition in which worldly consciousness are in effect, both religious and worldly attachments separate this totality of brotherhood, sisterhood from each other. Let me tell you something about brotherhood and then they do a forward slash uh, sisterhood. Uh, over in the, the 
the eastern part of the world, the Middle East, and uh, you know, they Turkey, for instance. <clears throat> when they say brotherhood, it means both male and female. Um, but but they're clarifying in the in this book because they realize that we're reading this, you know, in English. But um, uh, again. I'll start from, however, during this dimension of transition in which worldly consciousness are in effect, both religious and worldly attachments separate this totality of brotherhood, sisterhood from each other. This, For this reason, our planet that has been taken into a great selection program is going through and will be going through the most difficult periods of this final age. Excuse me. Uh, this time period, which is known as the resurrection in the sacred books, is called the salvation plan in the universal program. The golden book of the, go the, golden book of the golden age, which was completed in 12 years, is being dictated under the name of the knowledge book. And this universal book has been and is being distributed to our entire planet in fascicles sorry about that i don't know what that is f a s c i c u l e s I haven't pronounced that word in 20 years in the direction of the desires of the celestial totality until today by this means we have been reaching humanity for many years the name of our group is the mevlana essence nucleus staff so the name of our group, again, is the Mel, Mel, uh, the Mevlana Essence Nucleus Staff. Our association is called the World Brotherhood Union Universal Unification Center. Our foundation is called the World Brotherhood Union Mevlana Supreme Foundation. Our center is in the city of Istanbul in Turkey of Atatürk, 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 Atatürk. Okay. It has been announced by the celestial authority, authorities that in, for, in future years, mutual branches of this totality of ours will be opened with the totalities of Anatolia and of the world. Awaiting these happy days with great longing, it is our pride to greet our terrestrial brothers and sisters serving on the universal path. And that's the introduction to the book. Um, now I'm going to, I'm going to read something from March 2nd, 1993. The time is 9.05 AM. Um, and this was received by Vedia herself. Um, the woman who received uh, all the information that's in this book. So it is noticed from the central totality. It is a message to be given to dear Mevlana. Dear Mevlana, the knowledge book that is the golden book of the golden age bestowed on your planet as of the world year, January 11th, 1981, is a universal constitution comprising the whole of all the suggestions of the system. And it is a call of the skies to humanity. This book has been bestowed on your planet through your pen as the golden pen of the golden age. In this period in which your world name is Vedia Bullient Ansu Korak at this moment, it is card indexed in the special archive, archive of the totality of reality that your old name was Mevlana Sela Ledin Rummy. Hmm. Okay. The Masnawi of that period is also a celestial book of enlightenment. The aspirisms of the Masnawi are from you. Its frequency is from us. However, both the utterances and the frequency of the knowledge book have been entrusted to your pen by a special technique from a private channel connected to the totalistic totality. 
Wow, that took a bit to, to get through. There's some heavy words in there. Uh, this is not even the slightest piece of personal awareness within the book, since your consciousness light is connected to the cosmos as a necessity of the program during the period you live in. Time will prove the power of the book to, hum to humanity. Time will prove the power of this book to humanity. In this book, to which the command of publication will be given in the second half of the ending date of World Year 1993, in which individual selections of the final age are still in effect, this message will be written in your handwriting with an ink pen with your original signature, and this will be the seal of the book as an official document. Suggestions to be given until the date of November 6, 1993, that is, until the publication command of the book is given, will also be written in the book exactly as they are. At the end of the book, a special suggestion will be given by the system. The acceptance of our love is our kind request, our friend. It is notice from the central totality, Cortege. Okay. So um, now I'm going to read to you volume one. That was just the introduction to the knowledge book. Um, and again, those of you that came on late, I, I'm reading the knowledge book for the next several uh, months, <clears throat> maybe longer. And um, I'll be on every other Sunday. Sometimes it'll be every other Monday. Uh, sometimes it'll be every other Saturday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Sometimes it'll be once a month. Um, I'll keep you guys informed. Okay, let's see what's going on in the live room here. I'm just going to read a couple of things real quick. Some of you made some notes. Okay. So a lot of people are identifying with, with this. And um, hello from Canada and the UK. Hi, Don. Hi, Sue. Melanie. Louise. All right. Um, okay. So I'm going to keep going here. Uh, now, this is this is actually page one. This is where it starts. 1984, first month. Uh, in the name of the preeminent, all merciful. The text of this book comprises all the sacred books. You will find the genuine human in this book. This is the sole intercontinental book. It is it has been dictated by the universal powers with the assistance of divine coats. All the divine books until today were enlightenment books of genuine enlightenment guides who came from the path of light. These books were dictated from the same channel. Now during the last, now during this last age, as a result of a necessity seen, it was thought indispensable that our world friends should assemble under one roof. Thus, this book is your genuine friend, your genuine brother or sister, because it is being dictated by our essence, brothers and sisters. During this difficult time of your world, everyone has gained a cosmic awareness. We are sure that our world friends who have gained this consciousness will comprehend the true nature of this book very quickly. Your world has opened to the universe. The universe has been opened to the world. The texts that are dictated are being disseminated to the entire universe chapter by chapter. Gates of worship are the sole gates of God. There is no discrimination there. No matter where you are, always his inextinguishable son is a light in all of us. The Lord of all of us is single. That is, we are all his children. For this reason, 
With the command of the single Lord, the entire universe is being made to assemble under one roof. So let's keep an open mind and while I'm reading this and continue um, with that open mind to to wait for further and further knowledge out of this book that will pull some of your thoughts together uh, for better understanding. Uh, your world is being prepared for a very your world is being prepared for very grueling conditions. <clears throat> I think we're seeing that now, but um, we're also seeing a lot of great things. Those who are conscious of this know that if we extend our brotherly, sisterly hands with love to everyone, these hands will never be refused. Our God never sent us to the world for us to divide it. This Terra will be transformed to heaven one day by all our human brothers and sisters. We hope to meet one day in our brotherly, sisterly world. The cult, the coat, K-O-T-E, hope I'm pronouncing that right. The coat of Alpha is the sole channel that has received the command to notify everything with all clarity. This book will explain from the learning point of view the subjects you all know or do not know yet for everyone to comprehend better. <clears throat> do not forget that all the books revealed from the Enlightenment channel had been revealed from the firmament plane. These sacred books are the New Testament, the Old Testament, the Psalms of David, the religions of the Far East and of the Quran. The actual goals of these sacred books are to give a message to human to our human brothers and sisters in the light of learning. However, those sacred books were later deviated from their actual goals and were degenerated. So I, I've talked about that before um, with a lot of you and um, my loved ones and friends. Um, that that the Bibles that we know of in every religion started from a good place and then they were manipulated by those negative entities here on earth. So let's move on. However, those sacred books were later de deviated from their actual goals and were de degenerated. Now, all the books between the first book and the last book are unified in this book. And it has been bestowed on the universe as the single sacred book. All right, page two. We are sure that the flowers on the, on the flowery paths we are treading will no longer wither. For we are assured. These sacred books have enlightened you until today, have prepared you for a certain medium. This is the most honest step you will take towards the path of love, friendship, and brotherhood. Do not forget that the spirit has neither age nor gender nor nationality. Holy Jesus, Holy Jesus Christ, Holy Moses, Holy Mohammed were each once universal brothers. They were sent with the commands that they should assemble their terrestrial brothers and sisters together and to enlighten them. Now, we have long passed those difficult periods in which they lived. Do not ever forget that we are no more in the century of the Middle Ages. In this space age, in this space age, humankind has already established its divine triangles in proportion with the consciousness it has achieved. Now the divine mission of humanity on the path of learning has begun. This book is being prepared with the very with this very goal, with our love to our brothers and sisters, and it's signed Pen of the Golden Age, PGA. All right. Um, notice to all our terrestrial brothers and sisters. First message, January eleventh, nineteen eighty one. So apparently, this is where it really starts. Um, I know this was not 
put out in public though till 1984. So it's probably going to say that somewhere further in the book because I've skimmed through it a bit. But um, notice to all our terrestrial brothers and sisters, first message, January 11th, 1981, 10 commandments of the golden age. Okay, so one says the emblem of the golden age, um, which is O M K. Two, it says the light of heavens will descend on Terra. Three, those who write this book will be accepted to sacred places. Four, this book will guide those who will enter the central system at the land of eagles. Five, genuine humans will undertake the entire power of the cosmos. Six, the land of angels and Terra will be connected by a chain of progression. Seven, the tongues who tell the truth will at the same time be masters of miracles. Eight, <clears throat> from now on, the meaning of the words will become chain of thought. Nine, everyone will know who he or she is and will shed light on the de degenerated society. And 10, ultimately, everyone will be brothers and sisters. So here it says at the bottom what OMK um, stands for. The O is Allah Almighty, the Absolute. Um, M is Muhammad Mustafa all emissary and k is uh kurtaris kurtarisi i believe savior holy jesus christ uh the triangle of mevlana is tantamount to the triangle of the universe okay i, I need some water really quick here Um, by the way, I'll tell you guys, I drink water. You should know what's good for you. Um, sometimes I, you know, uh, try to give you guys even more information about what's, what you should be eating and thinking and feeling. But, um, this is a stainless steel, um, uh, water jug water canister. Um, and I, I drink a lot of starky high alkaline spring water. Um, I, if it's not starky, if it's not hell high alkaline, I drink spring water. I don't drink the Dasani or Aquafina crap, um, filtered water or out of your sink. Um, you're supposed, you're, su we are supposed to be eating a, at least a 70% alkaline diet. So 70% high alkaline diet, um, and 30% acidic diet. Uh, unfortunately, most of the world um, eats the opposite, a 70% acidic diet to 30% um, alkaline diet. And that is why so much cancer, that's one reason, just one reason, I won't get into the rest, why, why so much cancer exists. If you were to eat a 70% or higher uh, high alkaline diet, with 30% or less uh, as acidic diet in, in your diet, um, it is highly likely that cancer will not survive in your body. Anyway, I also have this charging plate that I put my, my water on and my food. Um, very nice. I got it off of uh, Amazon and it is awesome. And it may not work for everybody, but I tell you that my water tastes, tastes better because I leave it on this charging plate. Okay, so I'm going to get back to um, the next page. This is page three, chapter one, Law of the Universe. Um, so I think I'm going to read a couple pages and then... Um, Then we're probably going to stop in, in the next 30 minutes. Okay, so Law of the Universe, Chapter 1. 1. 
the power of this divine realm forming the order of the administration of the entire cosmos. And then two, it says, uh, originates from the single God. And two is the supreme of all of us is him. We do not recognize any supreme one other than him. So we all have one. This goes along with what I feel. We, we are all create. We all have one creator. And we're all one energy. So here's three. Um, the supreme one who is the light of heavens has created everyone equal and judges equality. Oh, has created everyone equal and judges judges equally. Um, for the divine order at the sacred places is under the control of all the galaxies. Five, the law of universe is valid for every galaxy. There is unity and togetherness. So again, these are the laws of the universe. Six, we give what we take. We know what we will give. Seven, answer is given collectively to the power of heavens. Might is from him. Eight, the place from where the Quran was revealed and the New Testament, the Old Testament, the Psalms of David, and the religions of the Far East were dictated is here. Okay, nine. It has been like this in every era. There is no privilege. Ten. Divine commands are always given to the entire universe for enlightenment and, and evolvement. 11. During the transition beyond evolvement, other gates are opened for the residents of the galaxy. There they are taught secrets they do not know. 12. Our scale is conscious. And it provides an equilibrium that never fails. It decides what to do and what not to do for those who are evolved. 13. The administrators at the top are responsible only for the professional, not the ethical order. 14. The, the book is single. The conscious is single. The order is single. 15. Those who, to those who need help, the automatic alarm gives signal for help. And in quotes uh, or parentheses, um, that is God sees you. 16. This is a divine order established by God. Without discrimination, we run to the help of everyone, to those who are in genuine depression. Uh, 17. Our order does not want anyone to be unhappy. Happiness is our purpose. 18. In gardens in which seeds of love are sown, flowers that have never been seen bloom. 19. Your third eye is the secret that gives the aroma to those flowers. Provided that you gain this power of yours, you solve all the secrets. It's a tough thing, but we're getting there. 20. Helping hands have been extended to your world. For we are all brothers and sisters. We want to surmount your difficult, your difficult periods together. 21. <clears throat> you are a planet destroying itself unawarely. I think a lot of us are aware of that, though, right? 22. At first, humankind has been taking. Uh, at first, humankind has been taken in hand. We try to transform. We try to transform your negative powers to positive ones. 23. The goal is to find the genuine human within you to create human from human. OK. Page four, we're going to number 24. Uh, wow, there's a lot here. Okay. So we're still reading the laws of the universe. Universe. This is page uh, 
for uh, law 24. We are sowing seeds of love within you. 25, during this period, you become genuine humans by passing beyond religious rules. You are being regenerated. 26, we always help our missionaries who have cooperated with us. 27, your depressions, your sickness, and fears are caused by the imba imbalance of your conscious scales. Only you are responsible for this. The elms you give for your personal benefit will not save you. 28. Humankind has such a potential that it dies the moment it wants and, re and resurrects the moment it wants. So humankind has such a potential that it dies the moment it wants to and then it re resurrects the moment it wants to. Seek and find the secret potential box of yours. Overcome your sicknesses without medicine. 29. You have regulated your life not according to yourself, but according to others. Your frustrations are due to this. Boy, ain't that the truth. This attitude of yours obstructs your universal channels. 30. God creates creates each of his servants single. She or he is a free spirit, a free conscious. A free conscience. Actually, it says a free conscience. Sorry, I've been saying that word wrong a couple of times. Um, no one is the servant of anyone else. Mutual respect is imperative. 31. Gender discrimination exists only in your galaxy. This astonishes us. 32. In this respect, evolvement is necessary for you. No one can violate the rights of others. This predestination is of God. 33. The power possessed by everyone is present in everyone. Only if you can develop that ability of yours. 34. Servants of God choose their options themselves. Ultimately, they themselves are again responsible for everything. 35. We are connected only to God. The key of our happiness is in the hand of our conscience. This is the same in all the galaxies in which the law of the universe is valid. 36. The sounds you hear are the spiral waves far beyond the frequencies of your ears. I got to read that one again. The sounds you hear are the spiral waves far beyond the frequencies of your ears. These are only heard by those who can hear them. I wonder if they're talking about the white noise that uh, it's not always present, but I, I hear it um, quite a bit. And some days it's very busy and other days it's it's I don't notice it at all. Um, 37. The clarity in your view is possible only by the opening of your third eye on this path. Then you can see the unseen. 38. God has created you and will create. God has created you and you will create yourselves. This is a rule of the evolution tableau. Tableau. 39, this period that you call the final period, we call the golden age. 40, during the, go during the golden age, books on all kinds of subjects will be dictated according to their frequencies and wavelengths to all humans who can, who can receive the perception. <coughs> Excuse me. 41, the books you will write will be the marks that symbolize your evolvement paths. 42. Gates of unknown knowledge will be opened to the world human. 43. Missionaries are obliged to 
propagate these to society. 44, every gate is open, all arms are open, there is no secrecy. Many secrets are there for those who seek. I think we're discovering this. <clears throat> if you just keep your awareness level high and keep an open mind, um, you, you can even, you see it on TV, you see it in social media, you see it in, geez, you see it on, um, I got Oprah on TV right now. You, you can see it in watching Oprah. You can see it in our, our science, uh, the great discoveries that are happening around the world uh, underground. Um, you know, the, the amazing things that are coming out there from the, the, the science uh, world and so on. Okay, so this is chapter two. We're still on the law of the universe. There's quite a few here. Um, the laws of the universe go up to 151. So we're not going to get through all those today, but I'll pick up on part two um, on our next webinar. But let me move on here to number 45. Law of the universe number 45. Do not refuse the hands extended to you. Do not extinguish the fire of your spirits. Excuse me. Number 46. Project the order of the dome of cosmos on your own order. Number 47. The greatest gift for you is your sincere heart. You will reap the good results on this path. Uh, something I always say, I tell people, even my employees, I don't know, those that of you that know me know maybe that I, I um, have been a, um, a, a leader of um, people, like a manager, um, regional manager, regional vice president of um, in the restaurant industry and in other industries throughout my life. I've managed a lot of people. Um, a lot of employees and, um, you know, something I say to them is we all in general know what the right thing is to do. Just always do the right thing at work, at home, um, do everything from love, from loving, positive thoughts and with good intentions. And that's all you have to remember. They could forget everything else, but if they just remember at work and at home to do everything from love with positive intentions, with good intentions, then everything else falls into place. So again, that's that goes with number 47, I feel. The greatest gift for you is your sincere heart. You will reap the good results on this path. 48, if superiority is within you, Yes. Oh, I think this is a mistake. If superiority is within you, fear, comma, if you are within superiority, do not fear. Only genuine humans comprehend. Know this. Um, 49. Go from nothingness to allness and from allness to nothingness. Then you will find the path of light. Boy, ain't that the truth again. Fifty. There are so many more lights to be shed on your earth. Do not ever forget this. Fifty-one. Missionaries who will guide and assist you in the framework of the given commands will be sent. Fifty-two. Our friends whom we trust are always assured. 53, special suggestions will be given to those who will receive the might of heavens from mighty people. 54, utterances will unify with utterances. Salutations will unify with salutations. 55, to the missionaries who will reap the reward of their perseverance, everything will be explained. All the secrets will be notified. 56. Other civilizations will develop the course of events of your civilization. 57. Humankind will know the measure of its might, will see its own self, and will suffer as the law commands. 
58. Even though humankind, seeing the source of divine light, considers itself deceived according to its own standards, it will never regret it. 59. Each friend who once will be accepted to the secret cities beyond the ramparts. These suggestions will be made by the command of the center. 60. Those who will be sovereign will be dressed in special garments, and with these garments it will be understood which medium of power they have come from. 61. During, per during periods of mobilization, Everybody will telepathically be in contact with each other. This will occur automatically. During periods of mobilization, everybody will telepathically be in contact with each other. Hmm. During periods of mobilization. Okay. 62. The one who does not know love cannot gather the flowers. The one who does not remove the gum from his or her eyes cannot see the colors. 63. Try to pass your powers beyond the walls of your spirits. Transcend, transcend your own selves. 64. That which seems like advice to you is our goodwill. You are the ones to gain. 65. No matter how powerful you are, you will always find an unopened gate in front of you. Do not let it intimidate you. Let it stimulate you. 66. We help everyone who knocks on our gate. 67. There is no personal benefit in our service. All right, so um, 68. With the dispersion of the density, great powers will come to humankind. 69. Before time catches up with you, you try to catch the time. 70. You can make the intergalactic communications through mediators. Your fears are groundless. 71. Intermediary groups will provide the cooperation with our missionaries who will get the reward for their perseverance. 72. The cover of secrets is not opened at once. When the time comes, we will declare them one by one. 73. Power will be added each passing day to the power in everyone and the length of the rings will come to us. 74. The more, powerful the, the more powerful the awaiting is, the more powerful the transition beyond light will be. 75. Your physical constitutions are being reinforced. 76. While humankind purifies itself, it also purifies the universe. Know this thus. Know this thus. 77. You are also the ones who will block the light of the heavens. 78. Your purification is our pride. 79. The ring around the galaxy is getting narrow, narrower each passing day. You need oxygen. You may have difficulty in breathing. Take precautions beginning from now. 80. You are being prepared for periods that will be harder and more difficult than ever. 81. Get to know your memory well. Everything will be notified to you. We will introduce and tell you about yourselves. 82. Messages you will receive beyond religion are your evolvement keys. 83. Currents oriented by moral powers can even shift the axis of galaxies in the universe. 84. Do not disparage yourselves. Do not underrate your power. You possess everything in the name of Almighty the Absolute. Unlock your lock without a locksmith. 85. Everything he has created, first of all you, this beautiful instrument, comprises the secrets of the entire universe. You will open 
and solve these secrets yourself. 86. In everything he has created, there is love and beautifulness. 87. We are only a group of intermediaries who shed light on you. We are your friends. 88. Humankind that possesses the power present the power present in everyone is on the single planet that has completed its evolution. So humankind that possesses the power present in everyone is on the single planet that has completed its evolution. 89. During this examination period, you are not alone. We are beside you. 90. We are brothers and sisters. We came to find you who are our brothers and sisters. 100. The more intense your problems are, the easier your solutions will be. 100. Do not forget that sadness is the key that opens your brain coats. One hundred and one advice is nice, but it causes others to turn their back on you. OK, one hundred and two gold attracts dome repels gold attracts dome repels. If it is asked which power is more powerful, it is the spiral sounds governing them all. Boy, the way that you must interpret this. Um, you know, could could change the understanding and meaning of it. <clears throat> if somebody has the, the understanding of gold attracts, dome repels, you know, please Please write me. Type it here, or if you're watching this video, maybe you can just write it in the YouTube comments. Um, if it is asked which power is more powerful, it is the spiral sounds governing them all. Gold attracts, dome repels. Okay, 103. The lesson humankind will learn during this period will be the eye of its, of its essence. 104. Do not struggle in vain. Wait. You need... During this period, Boy, there's some words in here I have not used in a while, um, so I apologize for messing up some of these words. 105. Time beer bears the knowledge within time. Take them. Achieve evolvement. 106. Nothing happens without a reason. The reason that creates the reason is always born from the result. From the result. 107. Messages dictated to you until today were for smoothing the roughness on your path of evolvement. 108. The expounding of the messages after this should be evaluated very correctly. 109. For example, if we say, if you know this, you are a sea. If you say this, you are an ocean. The divine light of the years is within you. The fire of your heart is in you. Some messages are written as codes and solved as riddles. Those who know the secrets are seas. Those who talk about them are oceans. They have received the divine light through evolvement of the years, have themselves become divine lights. But despite everything, their hearts are on fire with humility. This is what we call the genuine human. 110. The one who knows the secret of might drains the water from his or her boat. 111. Know your might so that mightier ones may come to you. 112. Whoever cannot adjust himself or herself to the medium he or she is in for, for he or her the path of moral hope will always be closed. 
whoever cannot adjust himself to the medium that they are in, for they, the path of moral hope, will always be closed. 113. The instrument of the servant whose sincerity is augmented with sincerity will always play. I'm going to read just four more here and then we're going to uh, stop until next time. So 114, or I'll read five more up to 118. So 114, to those who will ask the sovereign goddess about the grand tent of preeminent ones, a plaque with a symbol of happiness at its edge will be given. 115, happy is the person who compares gold with sand. 116. Purification is peculiar to purified ones, superiority to inferior ones, and inferiority to superior ones. 117. The one who receives his or her might from beyond superiority, his or her power from God, and who finds himself or herself in his or herself <clears throat> is the one who receives the degree. 118. We evaluate our friends who have a grasp of the power of heavens according to the sultanate degree, and we make them achieve liberation. So that's page seven. We're stopping on. Uh, the, these are the laws of the universe. I'm going to start chapter three at 119, page eight. Um, on our next webinar. It's uh, 107 Central Time in the USA, and um, it is July 9th, 2017. I'm Ron Steele, and um, I'll be back with you guys. I hope you join me um, two Sundays from today. If that date changes, please... Um, <clears throat> go to my let's see let me I'll let you know right here here's my my link to to my Facebook uh, to, to, to the event page to these events the the webinars there's the link to that and I will send you the link to my um, my YouTube channel. Okay, well that's not the right link. Hold on one minute. Let me find you guys the, the right link to my channel. Well, YouTube is changing a lot of things. Um, And I'm trying to figure out, but, but here's here's the name. Just search YouTube um, for Live the Enlightened Lifestyle. Um, I also have a group called Live the Enlightened Lifestyle on Facebook. And then you've got my um, my event link there for, for these webinars. You will always know that if any one thing you want to be a part of, you know, join this, this event um, page the Facebook event page and that'll always keep you updated. I will change the date on there. I will send you notices on there in the uh, discussion tabs um, to keep you informed. Those of you who don't uh, on, on the YouTube channel, um, the, what is it called? The, the message area, um, the chat is not, activated on there because I can't use both chats, one on YouTube and one on Webinar Jam at the same time, and I'm only one person. I can't operate two in, in the same time. So the chat is activated here on Webinar Jam, but on YouTube it's not. So um, those of you on YouTube who are watching, you're not going to be able to see the chat and the links I share. So just go to um, my Facebook event page. Um, it's facebook.com forward slash events forward slash one one three four three seven one four two three two five two one one nine 
forward slash. And that should take you to my event page or it probably is a lot easier if you just go to the, um, the look up the events on uh, Facebook and just search Live Enlightened by Ron Steele. So my event will come up pretty easily under that search. Live Enlightened by Ron Steele. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed my reading of the knowledge book today. I can tell you that right now, you know, I read the beginning of the book before it starts and I've read the laws of the universe. We have not gotten into, you know, we've not gotten past the laws of the universe yet. When we do, then, you know, there's, then the actual reading of the book really starts. Um, you know, there's an announcement, there's some notice to the group missionaries um, and some explanations in here, and then a call from the pen of the Golden Age, um, and, and it will really start getting into some really good, juicy, deep stuff, okay? So it just gets better and better every week. But again, my name is Ron Steele with Live the Enlightened Lifestyle, and I'm reading the knowledge book for um, the next several months until I'm done reading it. I'm reading it for the first time with you guys, my brothers and sisters. Um, I'll be back every either every other Saturday, every other Sunday, or every other Monday. Those are the three days that I, I'm going to change once in a while depending on my uh, work schedule and things like that. Um, but those are the three days you can expect me to be on here at 12 o'clock central time. Please just go on and Google different time zones and ask Google what, uh, what is my time zone for 12 o'clock central compared to 12 o'clock central. So I know that's 10 o'clock, uh, in California Pacific time, uh, parts of Arizona, maybe New Mexico, it's, it's 11. And then on the East Coast, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. So, um, uh, and then as you go further, for those 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 of you guys that uh, are in um, England, all the way over, I think it's an eight-hour difference from East Coast time. Uh, you're eight hours ahead of New York City in England and Portugal. Um, and then the time zones go an hour ahead from there as you go further east. So you guys just, just Google time zones. I also have a time, a bunch of time zones on my um, Facebook event page. So uh, that'll help you to stay part of that and read through all the details section. Let's see, there is a, on my Facebook event page, there's an about section and there's a discussion section. It's actually called tabs, the about tab and the discussion tab. Please click on both of those and read through there. Um, a lot of people don't seem to, to they, they keep asking me the same information um, that's on this event page. But if you just simply kind of mess around with Facebook on my event page a little bit, you'll, you'll see a lot of your questions can be answered there. So um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the webinar for now. And um, uh, I want to let you guys know we're all brothers and sisters, and I love you guys, and I, uh, I want us all to unite as one and um, change the world for the better. Let's, let's make positive change together and, and make the world a better place. Um, and how you do that is just start somewhere. Start with something. Look, look what I'm doing, reading the knowledge book. I never imagined... I never imagined two years ago that I'd be doing this. Um, I don't think I was comfortable with putting myself out there on the internet on live video. So, um, uh, but now it's just no big deal. Um, the big deal is to get the, infra the, the information out there that is in my heart and soul that comes from higher guidance, from my intuition, my gut instincts. That's what's the most important thing in the world to me. Um, is getting information out there to the people it needs to be gotten to. And sometimes it's here and other times it's, you know, to the woman I love, to um, my family, to my children that I love so much and, um, and to you guys. Um, I love you all. Um, have a great rest of your Sunday.
Uh, namaste. Take care, you guys. I'll see you. I'll see you next time.